right. Go ahead. Hello. Um, so my name is Anne Rosé. I'm one of the three co-founders and managing director of Tazinet, which is a not-for-profit organization that we set up with um, Antoine de Clerc and Pierre Carpentier two years ago um, with the objective of reducing um, child mortality. Um, by deploying with existing healthcare structures a system that would allow for early detection of disease and early care. So basically the whole funding idea of the project is that um, in Africa um, children are dying of very simple disease, um, not because there is not uh, any supply of healthcare, but because they don't go to the doctor early enough and diseases are not detected <coughs> early enough. So if you look at it, the actual root cause for those children dying of benign diseases such as diarrhea, malaria, pneumonia, is that actually there is a cultural uh, barrier and they would go to conventional medicine only as a last resource, if you wish. They would opt, opt for automedication and traditional medicine in the meantime because they don't trust conventional medicine and they think it's going to be unaffordable for them. So in the end, what happens is that they end up paying a lot of money for late and risky emergency treatment when they could have come to the doctor earlier on and pay much less. So what we want to do with Pesnet is really prevent those complications of benign disease that lead to, to those um, you know, um, deaths that shouldn't even exist. And um, we do that with a system of frequent uh, follow-up of children's um, state of health early detection of disease, and access to early care. So basically what Pesnet offers to family is an extremely affordable health services, um, health, health service um, that includes prevention, early detection, and early care. Children pay a dollar per month to get access to weekly checkup by agents um, from Pesnet that would go from home to home um, to wait a child and check on very basic uh, symptoms that indicate their state of health. This information would be inputted into a dedicated DAVA application that we developed on the mobile um, for agents to be able to um, update um, the files of personal subscriber, subscribers in their mobile phone and set that, send that updated information to um, the doctor. So they would search in the memory of their mobile phone for the uh, file of the um, children they're visiting and they would select the file and then enter um, updated information. So they would in indicate the weight of the child, whether he's still breastfed, whether he's got any diarrheal symptoms, fever, uh, cough, vomiting, anything. They would save that information into their mobile and send them um, once a day to a central server linked to a database. That would allow the local doctor that works in the closest um, community health center, which would partner with Pesnet, our not-for-profit organization, to actually have a look at the information that has been collected during the day. So what he's going to see, if you can follow me to the computer, is he's going to have a, an access to an internet um, website where when he logs in, he would see the um, weight way chart and um, health information that has been collected during the day. The system pre-sorts the information so that it shows in priority to the doctor risky cases that have been automatically identified. The whole purpose of this is for the doctor to really focus on the few risky cases and really uh, make good use of um, his very um, um, scarce um, time, actually. So what, what we do is he would, he would log into uh, the interface and he would be able to access with the information available whether the child really needs to be called in for examination. If it thinks that the child needs to see the doctor, it would take a box here, and that would alert the agents with who will the next day come back to the family, give them an examination ticket, and that examination ticket gives them access to free medication, free examination, and health price medication. <coughs> so basically, one dollar per month gives them access to weekly checkup 
weekly remote monitoring by the doc local doctor, early detection of disease, free examination anytime there is a problem, our price medication, plus what we call routine examination, which are anniversary examinations for the children enrolled in the service. What we do is really we leverage telecommunication technologies and um, non-medical agents to operate that first selection of patients at a lower cost to make it affordable for the vast majority of people to be able to get access to the service. We do that by leveraging existing healthcare um, structure. And what we do is really we strengthen the capacity to reach those people that wouldn't come by themselves to the doctor and to provide quality um, assessment, uh, medical assessment and medical um, follow-up. So mobile technology and internet are used efficiently through very simple technologies to respond to a very deep and um, recognized social need on the ground. So it's not about a very sophisticated technological interface. It's about how to use simple technologies to respond to an identified and um, identified unmet need on the ground and um, you know, drive a bigger impact in the communities. Can you describe where you are um, sort of in this process? Have you, has this um, been started and where? And then what do you see as kind of the next steps in the process? So the program is currently been, being run um, on a pilot phase in a pilot program in the capital city of Mali. Uh, we currently have 200 um, children subscribing to the program. Uh, we formalized a partnership with the Ministry of Health in Mali that would allow us to um, deploy the service in new healthcare centers ac across the country. Um, so we are really now envisioning a broader development for the program. We've got a technological application that is up and running. We've got a business model and operating model that is working and that the pilot um, program allowed to, to validate. So we know the economical approach is working and we're really now looking for support and financial support especially to be able to um, develop the project um, more broadly. Um, we've been financed for that pilot program by private companies, um, the Orange Mali Foundation, the um, Alcatel Lucent Foundation and uh, Medicamo Expo, uh, which is a, a wholesaler of drugs um, specialized for um, quality care in Africa. Um, and so uh, we're really now looking into integrating new services to impact um, the communities we serve, especially a pregnancy care service that would use the same operating model and that would address the um, specific needs of um, pregnancy care and then deploy it broadly um, jointly with the, uh, better, uh, with the children um, else follow-up um, service in as many sites as we can. Great, thank you. You're welcome.